Jesus says, the whole world is about to be transformed. Here are my instructions for the coming days. September 20th, 2024, works from Jesus through Sister Claire, spoken by Jackie. Claire began, Lord, thank you for your great mercy towards us and the wonderful insights you are sharing about our future. Amen. Jesus began, My cherished family of heart dwellers, your life is only just beginning. The physical death of the Christian body is only the beginning of your true life. If you are caught in any of the disasters on earth and perish, know that I will sweep you up into heaven and you will begin your new life of immortality that very day. You have nothing to fear and everything to celebrate, for the burdens of this dark life on earth will exist no more. The whole world is about to be transformed. My idea to help all of you is to keep your eyes on the other side, on the prize, on the place I have prepared just for you. Yes, beloved, you're coming home at last. But the moat you must cross to get there is infested with wild beasts, plagues, and so much confusion. However, you will cling to me, and I will carry you across unaffected. Yes, to all my brides, I say to you, cling to me and none other. Not the government, not your relatives, not the news, which will be used as a dragnet to capture souls, but just to me. Seek me and my guidance before any decisions, and do not be manipulated into anyone else's agenda. Treacherous are the times laid before you, and whoever conforms to the popular standard will be entrapped. Flee to the forests and safe places you have prepared, but under no circumstances allow yourself to be put into buses and taken to safe zones, as they will be called, and encampments set up by the government. You will notice the barbed wire is facing inside, not outside. Pray and ask for provision and I will guide you. There will be safe houses that I have established that you will stumble upon or be led to seek out. Always pray and do nothing that causes a check in your conscience or a bad feeling, because that is how your guardian angel will warn and lead you. Signs and wonders will abound, so keep your eyes and ears wide open to my providence. Stay close to my mother and enlist her for protection, and whenever you feel unsettled, pray. Then I said, Lord, can we finish talking about heaven? My dearest, you will never finish talking about heaven, but yes, we can. And there is more I have to say. One thing I want to make very clear to you, my people, is that there is no need to have apprehensions about going to heaven. You are completely covered and protected and provided for. You are going to feel an ecstasy of relief from every guilt, every burden, every apprehension, every anxiety. All, and I do mean all, will be taken off of you. And there will be layer after layer of deep cleansing and restoration as you eat the fruit from the banks of the river of life. You have never known such bliss and freedom as you will experience there. Your soul shall be as transparent and crystalline as the heavenly sea of glass in the throne room, and your joy shall know no bounds. There is more I wish to impart to you, but for now let this suffice. Trust me, my glorious brides, trust me. Remember I died a terrible death to open to you the gates of heaven, 
so that you and your loved ones could enter. Trust me, and even in the most volatile and treacherous of circumstances, know that I'm with you, and I want you to trust me, and I will bring it to a good conclusion. You are safe. You have my protection through all things that you will experience.